I'm getting a tour of your house. Good morning. Hi. Hey. How are you? Uh, I'm okay. Considering I just woke up like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I've already had a video production meeting this morning. Uh, architecture review oh, okay and jackson's at soccer so oh. hi puppies we haven't hi say hello to debra come here come here come say hi yes say hello say hello <laughs> They haven't figured it out. Hey, I'll be right back. Shh, shh. No, she's not here. She's not here. Yeah. Okay. I've got, um, I've been at my desk for a while. I've got to go put a tank top on really quickly. I'll be right back. She's not here. I know. It's very exciting and very confusing. Feel old. Oh, hey, Deborah. What? Um, do you know Scott Fay, who owns Stamina Fitness? 
I don't know him, no. Oh, he lives a couple doors down from me. Uh -huh. um, a, a friend told me that he is thinking about renting the um, martial arts studio on Greenfield. Yeah, yeah. The MMA, and that he might be open to having somebody share it. Um, so he's, he might turn it into like a TRX studio, so he would use the wall space and might have room to share it with a Pilates studio, for example. So might be something worth considering or talking about. Uh, you do know I'm not allowed to commingle with people, right? <laughs> What'd you say? It's, that is such an impossibility. Gretchen, I, you know, honestly, it's, it's not going to be until 2022. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. Well, that was planting the seeds, the conversation, see who might have that kind of interest going forward, yeah. making the con, making the connections. I'm surprised that, I mean, I noticed that place was up for a lease. I'm surprised the the one down the block has remained open. Um, yeah, I know, but I that block. Look at Winston. You are ridiculous. <sighs> and I know where that tongue has been, and I don't want it anywhere near me. <laughs> How are you? Uh, I'm very tired today. Oh, okay. So I know Kristen and the gang are in a board meeting all day, which thank God I don't have to do because I'm not on the board anymore. Yay! Oh, I didn't know what your connection to her is. It's through um, Celebrate to Celebrate Life. Yeah, that well, that was her joke about I need an assistant because she was my she was my administrative assistant for six years at William Sonoma. And oh. then, um, she she just stepped down as the president of the board of celebrate life uh january 1st so she's she's been the president for the last three years and i joined the board because of her um yeah we've known each other for forever um but uh yeah a couple of uh, barbara sherry the other women who uh, asked for matt but don't show up um, are from Celebrate Life. Uh -huh. um, anyway, so let's get started. Is my girlfriend Stormy on these classes too? Well, I invited her, but she um, has yet to come. Uh, she, it's interesting when we, um, we were talking and she had a really bad low back and I convinced her to find an ART practitioner there. And then she got, she bought a, Pilates foam, um, the spine corrector, these things. Yeah. Um, and it's it's totally fixed her back, the combination of them. Um, so, but I don't, yeah, she's not showing up yet. But anyway, my friend Stormy, my girlfriend Stormy is invited. Yeah, I have all these numbers that show up on the text web. I don't know who anybody is. Hi. Okay. All right, let's start standing up. <sighs> So are you recording this? I appreciate the ones you've sent. I've actually done them on my own. Um, yeah, they all record. I've not, I've not done anything with them because again, I don't know how to find them, but I will. <laughs> okay, nice big breath up, soft knees, exhale. We're gonna roll down chin to the chest, pull the belly button in, release the back of the neck and just hang, reach your fingertips or your hands to the floor, shift your weight into your toes, and then back to your heels and toes. And heels, make sure you release your head, but exhale fully, start rolling up, stacking the vertebra, shoulders and head are heavy. Engage the booty, good big breath up, exhale. Chin to the chest, ribs closed, belly pulls in. Good, hands to the floor, walk out into a plank. 
Tuck the pelvic bone toward the chin. Reach your heels back. Uh, find your big toes so you're not rolling out on your pinky. Good. Nice deep breath in. Shoulders down. Step either foot forward. The other one meets. Hang over. And roll up. Soft knees. Driving up from the pelvis and the abdominals. Good. Big breath up. Exhale. Chin to the chest, rolling down. Reach all the way to the ground. Release the back of the neck. One foot goes back, find plank. Close the ribs, belly lifts, neck is long, shoulders down. Good, flexing each foot, little heel lift up and down, doesn't have to be high, up and down. Tuck the pelvic bone toward the chin. One more time, each side, reaching with the heel, just engaging the glute. Good, hold that plank. Either foot comes forward. Hang over. Evenly distribute the weight on the feet and start that roll up. Big breath up. Exhale. Chin to the chest. Roll down. Really try to release your upper body weight. And foot back, and foot back, find plank. Pelvis, lift the belly, close the ribs, shoulders down, nice long neck. Same thing, but now we're going to lift the leg parallel to the ground. So flex the floor or flex the heel, press that other foot into the floor and lower down. Flex, hold, and lower down. Your weight's still back in your feet. Flex, lift, lengthen. Lower down, bring it both sides two more times. Notice what happens to your weight when you raise one leg. Belly button stays lifted. Last one, each side. Up and down, hold that plank, lengthen through the neck. And last time, one foot forward, other foot forward. Hang over, release the back of the neck. And soft knees, rolling up. Big breath up. Exhale. Rolling down. And hang out here, shift your weight into your toes, into your heels, back and forth a little bit, lengthening through the long back. Good, one foot back, the other foot back, come into plank. Hold it four, three, two, and we're gonna do a little running man with a little belly lift. So knee comes in, drop your chin, lift, lift your belly, exhale. We do three more times each side. Shoulders down, long neck. And let's come into plank. Back in your knee, into your heels. Tuck and pelvis. Now we're gonna do a little knee lifts to the side. So right knee toward the right elbow. Don't pitch forward into your wrists. Keep your weight back. Three more times, each side. Two. And last one. Come into plank, lengthen out. Heels back, long legs, shoulders down. Hold it five, four, three, two, and one. Good, come down onto your knees. We should do a high hip child's pose. Pressing your chest toward the ground. Good. We're going to stay facing our mat. Let's get our red ball. Oh. 
you can't see me very well. Can you? Nice silhouette. I can't tell what the best position is given all the windows. Well, and then it's hard with black tights on black mats, too. You need to get you a big, giant, fiery hoop, you know, like the tigers jump through to light. <laughs> Okay, ball goes right at our chest. Start by just lowering your forehead on the ground. Arms are at goal, uh, goal post. Feel your chest open to the side and up and down on the ball. Soft long neck. Lengthen through the legs. So squeeze your booty, tuck the pelvis. Nice long legs, keeping your forehead down on the floor, you're gonna raise your arms just off the floor. Don't let the belly release and lower the arms. Again, raise, now pull the elbows toward your ribs, so in and come back goal post. Lengthen through the neck, squeeze tight into the center line. And up, three more times. Shoulders down, two, and last one, and release the arms down on the ground. Recontract the pelvis, lift the belly, lengthen through the legs. <clears throat> belly button pulls up to your spine as you open this time, lifting the back of the head shoulder shoulder blades toward the sky and come down. Lift and lengthen. So yourself work over that ball. Lifting in the belly, closing the ribs. Press the shoulders and the shoulder blades toward the ceiling and down three more times. Exhale, lengthen. You're getting longer from the crown of the head to the toes. As you tuck the pelvis, lift the belly. Good. And this time we're going to meet at the top. Lengthen. Tuck the pelvis, squeeze the booty. Arms push up to Wonder Woman. Come back to goal post and release down. Winston's mad because I'm on top of the ball and he can't get it. <laughs> Exhale, push up. Don't release the belly as you push up. Wonder Woman extension, reach through the legs as well. Come back goal post and down. Let's do that three more times. Kind of get more height in the shoulder line. Don't crank the chin. And down two more. Exhale, reach, lengthen. And down. Exhale, reach, lengthen. And down. Release all the way over. Okay, next sequence. Come up in goal post. Open arms, Wonder Woman. We're gonna breast stroke over, scoop, pull through that center. Keep trying to reach the shoulders and the back of the head toward the ceiling. Big breast stroke opening through the chest. Three, two, Last one. And come back to the center. Arms come back, goal post on the ground, and forehead comes down. All right, last series. Coming up, goal post arms, open Wonder Woman. Now lift your heels toward the sky. So as you go for top of body, breast stroke, pull your heels in like a little froggy, reach lengthen. So it's like you're doing a dry lander. Breast stroke. Exhale, keep the belly lifted, the ribs closed, your gaze is down. Three, two, last one, and bring it all down. Arms come back to goal post, just lengthen through. Okay, pushing up on all fours. Little cat cow, take the ball away.
point. We can't get his mouth around it. What? He can't get his mouth around it, but he noses it around. <laughs> <laughs> Pull it up into a rounded back, release the crown of the head. Now sit back in, into your haunches so you get more extension from the tailbone to the crown of the head. Come up rounded and then reverse, come into arch. Pull your toes under as you sit back into your haunches. Come up, scoop, lift, elephant, sit back. Come up, toes curl under, arch, back into the haunches. Two more times, scoop around. One time all the way through, elephant lift, hollow out, hovering over your heels. And then arch through. Good, come tabletop back. Long neck, shoulder sand, curl your toes up. And we're gonna go into our tabletop plank. So lifting just a half an inch off the ground. Hovering, find your big toe, press your weight back in your feet, not in your wrists, shoulders down, long neck. Hold it eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, knee taps. Tap, lift, hold, tap, lift, hold, tap, lift, hold, tap, lift, hold. Four more, three, two, one, hold it there. Walk your feet close together, squeeze your knees, hovering just an inch off, we're gonna spiral at the waist. Don't lift high when you spiral, just bring yourself out. Three more times each side. Two, keep your ankles squeezed together. Last one. And come into that tabletop plank covering. Hold it four, hold it three, two, and one. Keep toes curled under. Push into a high hip child's pose. Good. And uh, let's come up. Let's get our roller. Cricket gave up. He's pouting now. He can't find you. All right, sitting on the roller. We're just gonna roll our bum for a minute from the sit bone to the sacrum. Make sure your feet are forward enough. And we're gonna to start to engage our lower abdominals. So rolling off your sit bones towards your sacrum, come into that little C curve, drop your chin and right upright. Good, and keep going forward a little bit. So come into your lower back. Use your abdominals to curl back up. You can hold on the back of your knees if you want. Two more. Have you heard from Jessica? Uh, yeah, she's, um, yeah, I've heard from her a little bit. I guess she was gonna have her surgery last week. Um, I should check in on her. All right, hands behind the knees, scoop, hold it there, and just roll on the lower back. Just about six, seven inches, rolling on the lower back. Good. 
pushing your feet, you're on your lower back, hands back behind the head, and try and rock yourself back so your hips are high. And we're gonna let our pelvis drop to one side. And middle back, reach to the other, close the ribs. Just hang out here for a second. Just try and release the body weight into the roller. Ready, walk your feet in so your heels are underneath your knees and close your knees together. Come up on your toes and just a little wave, bring yourself out, rotating at the waistline, rotating at the belly button, just rocking back and forth. And last one and come back center. Nice high heels. Let your pelvis fall. Close the ribs. And one leg tabletop, the other leg tabletop. We're on our lower back, so you're feeling the roller and your low back curve. We're just gonna hang out here and a little tiny uh, switch from left to right with the knees, squeeze the knees together. Don't roll so much that you're gonna smash your kidney. You just wanna roll on your lower back. At this time, as you roll left, Reach your right leg, about knee, stay squeezed together, roll right, lengthen the left leg, and up. Roll right, lengthen that right leg, or sorry, roll left. Don't listen to me. I got you. Roll, lengthen, and come up. Go to tabletop, just hang out there for a second. Good. One foot down, the other foot down. Plant your feet. Now curl your pelvic bone up to the sky. We're coming up into a bridge. Take the roller away. Lengthen through the arms. Ribs close. Press the shoulder blades into the ground. Widen the shoulders. Long neck, relax your jaw. Good, we're gonna do five different things here. So try and keep our hips lifted, try and keep our torso long, starting with our tailbone taps. So keep long, straight back, come down, lift, lengthen. Tap, lift, lengthen, tap. Five, four, three, two, and last one, we're gonna meet up in bridge. Left leg to the sky. As it goes diagonal, your hips lift, so don't drop. And as it comes back to the sky, big drop. So tailbone tap, lift your hips, lower. Lift and lower. Five more. Four. Three. Two, and one. Come back, reset that bridge. Walk your fingertips forward so your shoulders are pulled down. Right leg to the diagonal, all right? As your leg goes up, your tailbone taps. Lift your hips diagonal. Lift. Press into that supporting that foot. Engaging that glute. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And bend that knee. Come in the bridge. Lift and lengthen. Re-engage the glute. Shoulders down, close the ribs. Switch your weight into your toes. So lift the heels high, lift your hips. So when you do that, don't sink. Kneel tap, or like heel taps. Tap, lift, squeeze. Tap, lift, squeeze. Check that your hips aren't falling. 
Shoulders down, neck is long. Don't roll into the pinky. Keep that center line alignment with your big toe and your ankle. Four, three, two. Good, we're gonna go straight into roll down. So heels come down, roll down. All right, exhale, arms forward, chin to the chest. Rolling up, exhale, come back down, arms up overhead, lifting to your toes. Arms come down, heels come down, roll down, arms forward, chin to the chest, and you come up. God, I can't do this on this now. Not on a carpet doesn't actually really work. Mm -hmm. All right, rolling down, arms up overhead, pushing the bridge up onto the toes, arms down, heels down, roll down, chin to the chest, arms forward, come up nice long spine, exhale. Arms up overhead, scoop, roll up in your bridge, heels high, heels down, roll down, and reach forward. Let's do two more times. Exhale, arms up overhead, scoop, reach up in the bridge, long neck, up onto our toes, to, uh, heels down, rolling down. Arms reach forward, trying to get more extension out of your spine as your arms are up overhead. Exhale. Scoop. Up under our toes. Heels down, rolling down. Good. And let's roll down halfway, find your C curve. Hollow out, scoop the belly, drop your chin, little pull forward with the fingertips and the shoulders, pull back with the belly button. Little pull forward, rolling forward. Exhale, drive it with the belly button back. No hip flexors. Scoop. Five. Four, three, last two, last one. We're going to meet up in C curve. Hold that C curve. Scoop out. Keep your chin dropped. Arms come up toward your ears and forward. Exhale, forward. Six more. Five. Four, three, two, and last one, and come up, sit up nice and tall. Good, second set of C-curve, arms in, in front, shoulders down, plank your feet, start with the pelvis, scoop, roll back in the C-curve. Don't lose that hollowed out C curve. As you open your right arm, spiral, come back center. Open the left. Intensify that abdominal curl as you open the arm. Two more times each side. Last one. Good. Exhale, roll upright. One more time with that. So nice and tall. Scoop, tuck, hollow out, long back of neck. Find your C curve. Open to the left and in. Take that hollowed out part. Good. Two more times each side. Reset that C curve in the center. And let's 
let's sync them up. All right, last transition set. Exhale, scoop, come into C curve. You're, you can hold on behind here if you start to give way. Hold that C curve, right leg tabletop, place it down. So don't give me the can can, lift that whole leg, the knee toward the chest. Hollowing out in the belly though. Let's do two more times each side. Scoop as you pull that knee in. Scoop, scoop, good. Exhale, come all the way back up. We have one more time of that nice long spine. Exhale, roll back in the C curve. Drop your chin. Left leg comes in and right. No hip flexor to lower abdominals. Two more times each side. And plant your feet, come back up. Good, let's get our roller again. Okay, we're gonna go to our middle back. So roll back in your C curve, all right? Your weight is in your feet, so don't let your feet fly up. Really plant your feet, press your lower back into the mat or toward the mat, hands back behind the head, right? So you're pushing into that roller, both for stability, and so you really get the benefit of arching to open up. Take your time. Should be the roller is right beneath your shoulder blades. Open, exhale. Start with your pelvis and your abdominals to curl back up, coming into that deepen seeker exhale so don't lose it on the lower half of your body just try and extend like your feet are engaged your thighs are engaged your lower belly is engaged two more times I swear to god i feel like my middle back would just snap in half yeah one And come up. Good. Walk your feet in toward your booty just a little bit. Scoop as you lift your tailbone. We're going to roll from our floating rib lower up to our shoulder blades. Scooping out, rolling in C curve. So visualize your pelvic bone reaching toward the sky and your chin curling down toward your neck. Sorry, they're using a gas blower out to close the window. Really stinky. Keep rolling. Two more times. Following out. Good. And come to the shoulder blades. Come to the highest point there in your roll. All right, walk your feet forward a little bit. We're right smack dab in the middle of our shoulder blades and now open there and try and release your tailbone to the ground. High back extension. I still have my head in my hands. Mm -hmm. Good, stay up in your shoulder blades now, chin to the chest, come into your little curl. Tuck, 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 your tailbone is down. Exhale, deepen that C curve. And open up. Try and soften and widen in the shoulder blades. Start with the pelvis, scoop up toward the sky, pull the lower belly in, chin to the chest. You come into that deep in the C curve. One more time. Good. Last time coming in. All right, hold on behind your thighs. Walk your feet forward a little bit if you need to. Press your lower back into the ground. We're gonna come into C curve and hover. Just hold that C curve. Pull yourself off the foam roller. Right arm forward, 
left arm forward. Exhale as we roll up slowly. Five, four, three, two. Pull yourself forward, nice long spine. Good. Scoot your roller away, lengthen your left leg, right leg is bent, pulling your chest toward that thigh, come into a full spiral. Good. Switch. Full spiral. Good. Switch again. Alrighty, keep that leg up there. Single leg roll downs. Tuck, 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 roll. Float that left leg off the ground. Exhale this time as you roll up. Come into a single leg teaser. Float that leg down. Exhale. Two more times. Peeling the vertebra off. Last time. Good. Take hold of the outside of that ankle or foot, whatever works. Spiral. Exhale, lift up. Good. Come back facing, single leg. And roll down. And switch. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Exhale, rolling up. Oh, my garden, you guys, here. I didn't realize that. And scoop rolling down. And down. Two more. And last one, we're going to meet up here. Hold on to the outside of that ankle. Spiral lift. I can't tell, are you spiraling away from your, your upward leg or into it? Which leg do you have up, your right or your right? I'm spiraling into the leg. Into your right or your left? This is my right leg and I'm spiraling to the right. Okay, your right leg is extended. Yeah. Okay. I'm turning to the right. Like that. Good. And yeah. come Alrighty. Butterfly. Soles of the feet together. Walk your heels away. Scoop the belly back. Reaching with the crown of the head forward, up. Come into C curve. Dive forward. Long spine up. Scoop, hollow in the full C curve, come forward, scoop, hollow up, two more times, tuck, dive forward, and up, last time, and up, good, alrighty, uh, let's do, let's do some um, leg stretching. So get your uh, band. Kind of getting soft with gas. Uh, get your band. Sorry. Uh, you know what, Gretchen? You get hand weights as well. We do upper body with our uh, Got all the toys out.
Okay, our right leg, can you see me? Our right leg is in the band. Lengthen that left leg, left leg is on the floor. Pull that right leg in. Try to walk the leg out to 45 degrees. Rip the band, we're gonna point and flex, point and flex, point and flex. Five, four, three, two, stay flex. Walk that leg back up, pull the leg in. Lengthen through that hip though. Don't pull your hip up into your armpit. Lengthen through that hip. Leg on the floor is reaching long. Good, opening to the side, extend your left arm. We're gonna point and flex here. Point and flex, point and flex. Five, four, three, two, and one. Pull that leg in, flex the foot. Come back parallel. Reach that leg overhead as much as you can. Anchor your tailbone though, lengthen through the hips, shoulders down, nice soft jaw. All right, release the leg and slow it down, bend your left leg, come up, open to the side, close. Up, open to the side, close. Try not just to use the hip flexor, but reaching through that stretch extension, up, side and close one more time this direction now flex reverse flex down flex open flex up flex down open and up four more three two and last one and bring it down Right, we're gonna switch sides. Left foot is in the band. Flex to that heel. Lengthen through that side of the body. Pull that left hip down out of your rib cage. Lengthen the leg 45, point and flex. Point and flex, point, flex, five, four, three, two, and flex. Walk that leg back in, take a nice big stretch. Sorry, our right leg should be long. Yeah. Open to the side. Try to anchor your booty, shoulders down, pull that leg in, and then point and flex. Really trying to reach through the heel, soften in the hip, lower belly is engaged. Point flex, three, two, last one. Flex that foot, pull it in closer to your ear. Come back parallel. Bending your right foot, uh, knee, foot on the floor, release the strap. Ready? Pointed foot reaches down to the side and up. Down to the side and up. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And we come in, flex that foot. God, it's killing me. Open to the side, flex, reach that heel through. I think I did point and flex on the other reverse way, the other way, sorry. Four more. Try and get off that hip flexor, really try and use the glute and the lower belly to drive the leg. Good. Last one. And bring it in. Right. Knees up, bent, hold on to the back, and get a little rocking momentum. 
And come all the way up. Woo! Find your balance. Arms extend. All right, we're going to do four times. Down both sides of the body. Exhale, come up. Find your balance. Focus on tipping your pelvis. Go into your lower back. Squeeze your booty. And abdominals bring you back up. Two more. And up. Last one. And come up. Hold your balance. All righty. Feet come down. Sit up nice and tall. Get your hand weights. Rolling down. Let's start with our arms to the sky. Coming into goal pose. So a little uh, extension of the elbow. Tap the ground, but don't relax. Release onto the ground. Push back up. And you want the balls beneath your chin, not at your eyeball height. Pushing up to the center. Four. Three. Two. And one. Push up to the ceiling. Rotate your palms to their facing flies. So opening in a nice uh, bow shape, palms to the sky, coming up, squeeze in a tree hugger. Lift in the sternum, close the ribs. Four, three, two. Let's meet up with the arms open. Rounded elbows, circles. Four, three, two, reverse the direction of circles. Four, three, shoulder stay down. And same that scooped arm palm to the sky shape as you bring the arms to the hips. Open back up, angel wings. Open back up. Try to flatten your shoulder blades on the mat. Like hip to the neck. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Big fly, bring it in and come in. Right? All we're gonna do is add the legs. Arms up to the sky. So we're gonna march our legs as we do our arms. One leg as you open, close. The other leg, close. Leg, goalpost arms, keeping a nice long torso, shoulders down, neck is long. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's meet up both legs to this in tabletop, arms are to the sky, rotate your palms. Now as we open, you're going to lower both legs, come back in. So don't arch in the back, don't release. Keep that little tiny bit of imprint, anchor the tailbone, lower and up. You don't have to tap the floor, you just want to engage the core. Four. Three, two, and one. And bring your arms straight to the sky. Alternate one leg and one arm. So your left arm goes down to the floor and your right leg taps. Come back up and switch. Sorry, I can't even keep my... Opposite leg and arm. Oh my God, what is wrong with me? There we go. After walking. Okay, you can't think about it. That's the problem. Keep your belly anchored. Oh my God, Gretchen, I can't even do this this morning. 
<laughs> okay, let's meet up here. All right, we're, you're gonna lift your arms over your head and your legs to 45, coming into reverse plank. Your chin comes to your chest, All right? Come back up, tabletop, arms to the sky. Shh. Arms to the sky. Four, three, two, and one. Now let's bring it in. All right, feet down, arms down. Okay. We're gonna do uh, abdominals with a leg and arm extension. So the weight is in your hand. Okay. Up overhead. The other one anchors you down. We're gonna lift up and open. What? Leg you have up. What? Leg is up. Your left. Yeah, my left leg is up. Yep. So you're reaching your right arm past your left ankle. Spiral in the waist. Press your back in. Plant that right foot and open. Exhale. Three. Two and one. This time our leg goes in opposition. So leg and arm open. Suspending your leg and arm. Exhale, scoop. Open, open, open. Exhale, scoop. Moving your arm with your full chest and shoulder, contracting, wrapping, closing the rib. Three. Two. Last one. And come down, switch sides. All right? Right leg to the sky. Left arm up overhead to the diagonal. You don't have to put it up by your ear, but a little bit to the diagonal. Exhale. We're going to peel up, wrap it, and open. Four, three, two, and one. This time, we're going to extend our leg to the diagonal as we open. Exhale. Four, three, two, and last one. And come down. Good. Weights are in your hands. We're gonna roll up with the weights in our hands, chin to the chest. Start by imprinting your lower back. Scoop your pelvic bone. Exhale and come up. Sitting straight up. Palms to the sky. Palms to the sky. Soft elbows. Nice tall spine. Feel your sit bones in that. Little circles. Five, four, three, two, one. Elbows pull back. Open through the chest. Scoop service. Exhale. Pull back. Scoop. Nice long neck. Four, three. Sorry, I have a cramp. Two. Last one, come into service, shoulders down, circles. Four, three, two, one. Again, pull back, two beats. Beat, beat, scoop. Beat, beat, scoop. Pull with the shoulder, uh, with the lats and the shoulder blades. They pull back and down. Four, three, Two, last set of circles, come into service. Circle for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And bring it down. Good. All right, weights down. 
Nice long arm, high hip child's pose. It's really funny when the dogs mimic me. <laughs> when they see me doing this, they stand up and then I do that and they do it too. All right, thread your left arm through, spiral on the waist, press into that left shoulder without putting all your weight on it, but you want to increase the spiral, get the hips square to the ceiling. Unwrap, other side, thread through. And come back one more time, center, pushing the tailbone to the sky, pull your shoulder blades down your back. And you are done, my dear. Oh. Thank you. It was wonderful, wasn't it, Winnie? It was wonderful. My lower back is so tight. It needed all that stretching. Yeah, my, um, I have some, my left hip has been acting up a lot recently. I think it's, I, I, I don't know why. Oh. Oh. I gotta work on these bat wings. <laughs> Christopher called it. <laughs> um, do all this stuff. Yeah. What are you guys doing today? What's the latest on the uh, Tasmanian devil scenario in the storage locker? Oh, I haven't done it. I have to go back today. I, yeah, I had to go back there today. I was gonna go, it's unfortunate it's so cold, but I was gonna try and go for um, a walk. I'm gonna try and do, I'm gonna try and every other day, Gretchen, I'm gonna try and walk to Fairfax and back. Um, Cause I just don't, like uh, the days where I start working at my desk, that's one reason I like going downtown is I'm up and down the stairs and back and forth to the warehouse. and. But uh, the last two days, I've just been glued to my desk here. So yesterday, Christopher and I took a, a really long walk. Um, but so I was going to try and go for a long walk and then go to the storage locker. Um, Paul said he was going to call me today, but I'm, I'm not going to wait around for him because he's always hours late, later than he says. Um, or maybe I could walk to the storage locker, actually. That's a good idea. I'm going to do that. That's good. Um, I'm taking Winston on a walk with my architect, Dennis, because Dennis got a new dog, and so he wants to introduce him to Winnie. He met Cricket last weekend. So we, we usually walk all the way up Redwood to Bald Hill, or actually not to all the way to Baldy, but to the Warren Springs Trail, and then we walk down to Deer Park or, you know, some forests in Fairfax. If you want to come with us, I'll let you know when we're going. Yeah, text me. Maybe I will. No, yeah. and anytime you want to walk from your house through San Anselmo to Fairfax, grab a dog. Yeah. Grab a dog, right? Just one. Just one. Do they mind being separated for a walk? No, no, and they're better Winston when they're separated. Yeah. What'd you say? I said Winston minds. Oh, well, if Cricket goes on his own, Winston sings like a choir boy at home, but we're used to it. Right. Yeah, I was thinking, uh, trying to, uh, I said to Christopher, if, if I wake up, he hands me a coffee, I walk at least to Java Hut to get a refill, and then back, so maybe I could come pick up a dog. <laughs> or if you want to. Um, I will, it's, it's nice out today, I didn't want to go out of the rain too much yesterday, but I'll bring you some lemon bars today. <laughs> I gotta get them out of here or I'm gonna eat them all. Okay, all right, well, let me know what you guys go for a dog walk.
Yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of work um, for an hour. Are you going to do a Pilates class? I mean, a reformer class now? Yeah, I don't know if anybody's coming, but I was going to. Um, so I will do, I'll go for a walk after that. Um, I'll let you know. Okay, cool. All righty. Uh, ciao, ciao. Ciao, Bella. Thanks a lot. That was super. No problem. And if, um, anyway. <laughs> You're so dirty. Oh, okay. Hey, did you hook up with, um, let's see, Jason Perry, the photographer? Yeah. So he, we, we talked, he said he's really, he's really more of a, an action adventure photographer. So we talked about, he's super into motorcycling these days. Uh, he just took a trip to, I think, Moab. And he said the, the gang he was riding with weren't the right ones, but he suggested um, on one of his motorcycle trips, us uh, supplying the bags and he'll just do his style of shooting and see what comes out and see if we like it. So um, I said the, the next trip he does, then um, we could talk. But yeah, it was a nice guy. Yeah, well, Clark can talk to you about more photographers too. I mean, that one just came to mind. And um, hey, Clark, could you ask Annabelle Brakey for some more tabletop shooters for Deborah? Uh, we really need we really need product photographers. I need somebody either as a studio in San Francisco or we have a back warehouse area they can use as a studio, but I need somebody who does really great product photography. And do you need just white, are you thinking just white background? Or, you know, I'm kind of sick and tired of the white background, but like somebody who can use a, you know, a, a, a corner of a room or a floor wall thing, something to add a little dimension because I'm kind of tired of just the straight white background, but somebody who understands because one of the secondary um, aspects of our creative that I need is every single month we need to revitalize five products that look like shit on our website. It's either old photography or we've only ever shown it one way. We need to reinvigorate our assortment. And so I need somebody that if, if we handed them five products, we could show them how it's previously been photographed and they can make it look more zhuzhy or more, or just different. And so that we can liven things up. Well, do you want to talk to Clark? Because, I mean, not as a shooter, but as an art director. Um, he might have some ideas there and also some photographers to recommend. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um, he's really good at that kind of art directing, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. So maybe, maybe I, I come over sometime. Finding I the right photographer too. Um, um, he wa I thought he would be listening, but he actually walked out. So yeah. that's okay. It's incredible the difference uh, that changing that kitchen made. Oh, isn't it amazing? And now we have both sets of lights on dimmers. So the ceiling lights and the chandelier are on separate dimmers. And yeah, that's nice. The world of difference. I have a different chandelier coming for the living room. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that one, but. Um, you probably sell it, can't you? My next project is I want to redo our bathroom downstairs. You know, we only have one bathroom and mm -hmm. it's to figure out how to add a bathroom. And people are telling me it's going to be $60,000 to add a bathroom. And I'm like, that's ridiculous. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, if, it, if you have to pull plumbing and stuff like that. I think we do the plumbing from the lower floor bathroom mm -hmm. and just run it i have to redo the plumbing there but just run it up but um all right you want a full bathroom or just like a water closet bathroom no a full bath, mm -hmm. a full bath. i think um to make our house at least well i would say a two two but they count clark's office as a third bedroom so it a three two would um mm -hmm. help a lot 
and it would be beneficial to a teenage son. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we did, I, I'm trying to think, I mean, maybe, maybe you can get it, get it for 40,000. I don't know. I think bathrooms are ridiculously expensive. Like kitchens and bathrooms are just stupid, but I guess it, it depends on if they're just going to pull the plumbing straight up and uh, it's more about fixtures and finishing. I don't know. Hmm. Um, but I think my goal is to, hang on a second. Hey Clark. Yeah. I'm going to go back to our previous conversation. Um, Debra is looking for new and innovative ways to shoot product. Um, kind of tired of the white background, but looking to add some dimension and looking to mix it up. And is that a conversation you're willing to have with her about? Well, um, maybe reach out to Coleman because he probably knows a lot of product photographers for what he does. I mean, he's got he's totally in that world. Mm -hmm. and that he might have some insights or ideas. Yeah, but it needs some art direction too. He's super connected and he's still tight with all of his um, Nike designer friends and um, yeah, I mean, just yesterday we were needing a writer for a um, project we just got asked to do and every writer we've been working with is totally booked. Oh, right. Yeah, and it's about finding the right writer. And Clark reached out to his boss from Nike. I mean, they're still in touch, and this guy recommended. You mean writer for copy, copywriter writer? Yeah, but for a spe specific kind of copy for um, a catchy, um, appropriate toned um, mm -hmm. headlines. Mm. And we got somebody, but um, you know, it was just running through a long, long list of writers, and it'd be like, you know, right person too expensive, or, or this person's too evocative, or this one is too technical, or this one's too, you know, um, doesn't bring their own point of view. What'd you say? Unreliable. Unreliable. Yeah, and that happens too. Mm -hmm. We were doing a project and the writer didn't show up for the client meeting. He dials in instead. I'm like, you live right down the street. I thought you'd be coming over to the client. And no, um, I moved to Washington this weekend and I didn't get my work done. I was like, what? Oh. <gasps> Anywho, you look cute in red. Mm. It's I, I got a sample for it's a icebreaker. I want it for the merino roll. Uh, I want to do what Timbuktu. Um, okay, all right. Well, I'll catch up with you later. I really should introduce you introduce her to Coleman just from a bag design perspective too. Yeah, I mean he's he he, he focus, he's a he he does footwear and 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 bags and. You know, sort of in that in the outdoor world, mm -hmm. and he's been doing that forever. He goes, I mean, back before COVID, he was going over to Asia several times a year for factory visits and factory check-ins, and and he goes to all the trade shows. And so, again, before COVID, but he he just he totally lives in that world. This is Coleman Horn. He's talking about who they work together at Nike. And now Coleman works for himself. Yeah, mm -hmm. out of Maine. He built this beautiful modern barn. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Or designed, I should say. Yeah, he does. I think nowadays he 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 does both product design and product production. So if someone, mm -hmm. you know, if someone has drawings or what have you, he can he tra he'll travel and get the prototypes, check the prototypes. Yeah. And you know, work with the factories and. So I think he does a little bit of both. Um, mm -hmm. All these beautiful travel kits um, in leather. Um, I'm just trying to think of like like the um, the whole accessory cord mm -hmm. charger kit that he did with the flap and it rolls and has that leather tie and mm -hmm. this beautiful work with grommets and Kodura nylon and you know all those different mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I gotta hop on to the other Zoom, but yeah, let's uh, let's keep talking. Certainly sure. super minimal. I mean, I have no idea what his workload is like right now, but I think he might be an interesting contact for you, especially yeah, yeah to meet yeah. and. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right, my dear. Thank you. Thanks. I'll let you know when I'm taking Winnie out. Okay. All right. Bye, Clark.